morning, everyone. It's great to be here. Alonia is just over two years old, and we've launched and sold our first products, targeting the world's toughest environmental challenges. These first products epitomize that waste is a failure of imagination, and that we can fast forward nature using synthetic biology and our partner, Ginkgo. To find natural solutions to remediate big problems, we have set our sights on these three areas, mining sustainability, plastics degradation, and industrial contaminant remediation. So today I want to focus on this last area and give you an example of why we're so excited and confident that nature can heal itself and use the tools of engineering biology to help that. We're gonna focus on one exciting product that we're commercializing as this example um, to remediate 1,4-Dioxane. 1,4-Dioxane is a toxic chemical that is found in 10%. In fact, I just read this morning, it can be up to 20%, according to the NIH, in our drinking water. So 10% of our drinking water includes 1,4-Dioxane. 1,4-Dioxane has many health hazards, including it's been linked to a carcinogen, and it's been difficult to treat until now. So I want to take you on a journey that zooms in to show you how this innovative product works. Scale alters our view of the world. From a distance, our home is a natural expanse of fertile lands and rich bodies of water. But as the scale changes, we start to see the consequence of our impact on the planet. And in the particular, the impact of industrial practices, which can do harm forever and less remediated, like the chemical 1,4-Dioxane. Decades of unregulated industry has polluted thousands of our most precious resource, drinking water. This harmful chemical permeates into the soil and into the groundwater and eventually into the water that we drink. At a microscopic scale, 1,4-dioxane molecules are inundating the aquifers under our feet. But thanks to the detectives at Alonia, they sift through billions of clues within nature and have made a breakthrough discovery in the fight against 1,4-dioxane. To quantify this feat and to give you an example of the biodiversity in nature, one tablespoon of soil includes more organisms than there are people on Earth. Now let's meet our hero, a naturally occurring bacteria that has an affinity to source its carbon energy from 1,4-dioxane. This incredible discovery is a breakthrough, but must be engineered and deployed into the contaminated site. We have completed this work, and we're now ready to wage war on waste, starting by destroying 1,4-dioxane underground. 1,4-destroy is an engineered vessel that contains our hero bacteria and is deployed into the contaminated site at precise intervals and depths. Exemplifying the power of biodiversity, our hero bacteria joins billions of other bacteria that have not yet evolved to destroy 1,4-dioxane. Our heroes set to their task of absorbing the microscopic molecules, turning them into carbon dioxide and water, rendering them completely harmless. In situ, the bacteria rapidly remediate the contaminant. Now the story doesn't end here. We are work with the bacteria continues. We are using biological engineering to enable the bacteria to fluoresce so it can be detected in the field. We're also engineering this to improve the efficiency and allow it to work faster. 
Our, here, our detectives have their sights now set on another target to solve PFOS. Using the same example and tools and methods that I showed before, we're working on remediating PFOS down to below four parts per trillion, which has recently been announced by the EPA. So to give you an idea of what that is, one part per trillion, it's less than one drop in an Olympic-sized swimming pool. So these are precisely the kind of challenges that Alonia was created to solve. So we can help return our planet to its natural glory and be transformative in nature. Stay tuned for more on the solutions that we're working on, targeting the world's toughest environmental challenges. So I'd love to connect with you today or at another time if you want to talk about how to reduce your environmental footprint or how we can enable regulations to help with bio solutions for the environment or just talk about your passion for reducing waste. Thank you.